around your home, there's this beautiful wall here filled with pictures of celebrities and... And it, family. And family. Yeah. yeah, and beautiful mementos. It's just divine. But um, I just have to ask you about some of them because, yeah. you know, we all want to know. So I'm just going to bang off some names and yeah. give me like a one word response about um, um, how they make, how that made you feel or whatever comes first to your mind. I'll try one word but probably one sentence. <laughs> okay, I'll start with probably the biggest one, Princess Diana. Um, as a princess, spectacular. As a woman and a lady, even more spectacular. Michael Hutchins. The most beautiful man I've ever met. He taught me the greatest quote. Um, Unless we're looked at, we don't exist. But remember, it's more about being seen. It's more about seeing than being seen. So make sure you look back at the person that looks at you. So, Elle, what, how would you describe Elle? Elle is <clears throat> one of Elle is one of my favourite women in the world because I, I Elle is probably like Peter is. Elle understands who Elle McPherson is and understands Elle. So Barry Humphreys, how would you describe him? A genius and I'm honoured that this man respects me, wears my tuxedo over anyone else's in the world and when I was in intensive care for four weeks he was the only person that emailed me and he did it from Fort Worth, Texas. Not one fashion magazine, no one. Unbelievable. But Barry Humphreys took the time to walk off stage from Fort Worth, Texas and send me an email to check on how my health was. Now, that is a true gentleman. Carly Minogue? Yeah, you know, I've worked with Carly doing the changeover from when she was on um, Neighbours and all that. Um, look, I think she's a force to be reckoned with, mm -hmm. Carly. Mm -hmm. I, I just admire her tenacity and her resilience and her determination. Mm -hmm. And I think she's an amazing talent, an amazing talent. Nicole Kidman? Um, I, look, I think Nicole, to see Nicole Kidman, I met Nicole Kidman when she was married, to, before she was married to Tom Cruise. And I, I, look, she's, I think she's exquisite. And I think now she's in a, a space, when you see these people, and I'm not like, I think Nicole Kidman is an exquisite, example of what an actress should be and also now she looks like an exquisite example of what a happy wife and mother mm. should be because I think she's got the balance now. Yeah. And Madonna? Um, I've only, I've never met, I have met Madonna, it's an embarrassing situation. I was at Gaultier's perfume launch in 1998 at this place called in Industry in New York which was the first photographic studio where they would have a supermodel in every studio. So Stephen Mizell would be shooting Christy Turlington and Linda Evangelista. So Elle McPherson asked me to be her day at the launch of Gaultier's Perfume Launch in New York where Madonna like, was the... Will I go? No. I don't know. <laughs> no, but when you're in New York and I just over with Leona and like just to be in this party you were cool but what you got to understand is there were so many celebrities that the limos will park outside and they will wait till the celebrity leaves till no one. So I'm inside standing with Lauren Bacall, Brooke Shields, Red Hot Chili Peppers, just hanging out, chatting. And because you're there, you're cool. Like, so I'm just chatting with Lauren Bacall. I'm desperate to meet Madonna. And so I try and run around the room to just be standing casually. <laughs> so I get to, you know, yeah, yeah, like that. I actually cut the corner too quickly and land. She slams straight into me. Um, we did speak, I said, hi, I'm Peter, but two security guards lifted me up in the air, threw me into the sun, she said, get the fuck out of my way. So as I say, I have met her, and we did have a conversation. <laughs>